I used to think that having someone I can call my best friend was that easy. And all I can say now is that lucky you if you have that friend you call best, who is always there for you in good and in bad times. That someone who will always stand by you even if the whole world couldn't. It was my wish to have such a friend. Someone who could taught me everything about friendship and loyalty. Someone who could always count on me to help go through the rough patch and I could do the same. But I could never understand how people call someone their best friend and then break up their friendship the next day. Thinking of it makes me sick and more introverted. So I asked myself, what's the point of building something today and then tear it down tomorrow? That's when I learned to find happiness in my own self, to be happy alone. What I did was simple. I just started to do simple things like having out time to let my mind wander, taking myself on a date, exercising, taking care of my health, taking a phone break, a, a step back from social media. I stopped comparing myself to others and I started spending time with nature and more. I was not even comfortable and confident being on the camera and uh, recording something, something that people could listen to. Then somebody told me that I can do it and I believed I can. That's when I started to gather my strength and asked myself why I really want to be alone. And the answer was very simple. I will be happy and will grow as a person. I found out that I can be mentally drained if I'm constantly connected to other people. So by spending more time alone, I can have self-reflection. And that's the best time to turn my focus inwards. I gained a greater perspective for my own emotions and started to understand what really makes me happy, what really makes me upset, and what makes me sad. So it was easy for me to regulate my emotions. I became more productive and independent and stopped to look for validation. And now I can tell you I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy alone.